Hi, welcome to the full stack development with Angular 8 and Spring Boot. In this video, we are going to configure the application dot properties. So let's begin. Let's expand this project and inside the source main resources, we have this application dot properties. Let's open this and right now this file is empty. There is no configuration. Let's go to the directory where we have downloaded the start files. Let's copy the application dot properties. And in the Eclipse, inside the source main resources, let's paste this and click on this overwrite all. This will override the application dot properties file. And now we have this configuration. So we have specified the driver class name, which is a MySQL driver. And we have the database URL. We have to specify the database name so let's go to the database and we have created this database which is book minus store minus dev let's specify the database name book minus store minus dev and we have to specify the database username and password if you remember we have created the database user so if you go to the administrator and select this users and privileges and we have this database user which is bookstore dev let's specify this bookstore dev let's copy this and paste it inside the password because the password is also same and I'll set the show SQL to true this will display the SQL queries whenever we execute SQL queries and we have specified the dialect which is a MySQL dialect and we have specified the rest URL base path which is slash API slash version 1 let's save this alright now let's run the application and see what do we get of course we have not written any logic but I just want to run the application and see whether the application throws any errors or not so go to the main class and right click select run as Java application let's go to the console and let me expand this we can see the logs All right, the application is uh, running in a port 8080 and the application did not throw any errors, which is fine. So now it's time to commit the code. We have to push the code to the GitHub repository. Let's do that. Let's go to the Git repositories. So before that, we have this project and inside the project we have a target folder okay so I don't want this target folder to be committed to the repository we can ignore this folder whenever we are committing a code so inside the repositories we have this dot git git ignore file so inside the git ignore file we can specify the target folder name so the dot git ignore file will ignore that folder whenever we are committing the code let's specify the target folder inside the dot git ignore file slash online bookstore we have to specify the complete path slash books online bookstore slash target Let's save this. Now the dot git ignore file will ignore the target folder whenever we are committing the code. Now right click on the repository. Click on this commit. This will take you to the git staging. So you can see the unstaged changes. So these are the files that we have to commit. 
so select all the files and drag and drop it to the stage changes now we have to enter the commit message provide a meaningful comment like initial commit created a spring boot backend application and configure the application properties now let's click on this commit and push you can see push it to online bookstore origin click close and go to the browser and refresh the web page you can see the online bookstore backend project in the repository and you can see the commit message initial commit and created a spring boot project and configure the application properties so now we have pushed the code to the github repository so in the next video we are going to create the rest apis that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video